I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. What you've just seen is one of my installations at a show called Art Tech Experience here in Minneapolis a little while back. These devices are actually broken white unibody MacBooks that weren't repairable. They had broken keyboards, bad aesthetics, scratched screens, things like that, and so I fashioned them into something else entirely. As a MacBook refurbisher, I believe in reuse, and by creating art out of broken computers, I've realized that reuse doesn't always mean a computer has to be exactly the same as it was the first time around. After all, old computers aren't as useful to us as when they were new. It's not because the computers have changed, it's because our requirements have evolved, and so we buy a new one that meets those requirements. But when we declare that these old machines are obsolete, it's my feeling that we're actually suffering from a lack of imagination. When you think about it, if something seems obsolete, it's really only because we've got the wrong purpose in mind for it. We have modern day expectations of the old machines, but if you shift the purpose to something else entirely, it's functional again. Over the years, I've learned to use graphics processor defects and broken screens as visual filters to affect my photography, not unlike you'd use filters in Photoshop. These devices here go one step further though and explore the realm of polarization. I've peeled off the front polarized layers of these screens, cut them into strips, and put them back on again at different angles. This by itself creates an interesting effect, but when viewed through an uncut polarized sheet from another screen, all the color variations on the spectrum are visible simultaneously, instead of in sync as a screen normally would appear. And as I turn the polarizer, the colors shift. Slideshows of my photography and videos are playing on the machines, which keeps the visuals moving and demonstrates variations of the effects. And polarized cellophane on top of that gives it even more layering. So I love repair, but it's always frustrated me that in most cases I'm only prolonging the death of a device for a year or two, and then it gets scrapped just the same. People I sell laptops to don't see them as anything more than appliances, really. So what I want to create is something that has potential to live on much longer. With that in mind, I'm trying to turn laptops into art by shifting their purpose as dramatically as I can. I want to give them a purpose that transcends time and defies obsolescence. We scrap billions of old devices assuming they're useless, but my feeling is that maybe we're scrapping them before they have even reached their truest form. Maybe they haven't found their purpose yet and become what they were really meant to be. Call me crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching.